I pitched to start the game. I understand he just scored after Tommy White struck out and Trey Morgan moved him to second on a grounder. Gavin Dugas walked and I'm thinking Beloso is the one that got the RBI. Jacques Doucet caught up with the man who coached this same championship finals matchup six years ago. All right, we're here in Omaha with a Hall of Fame coach who reached the College World Series six times, winning a national championship, playing for another one. You know him, Paul Maneri. Coach, great to see you here cheering on the Tigers. Great to be here, Jacques, in Omaha, Nebraska, <laughs> the dream of every player and coach in college baseball. <laughs> Uh, real quick, it was kind of in the news that you had been linked to the Miami uh, vacancy, the Hurricanes. Uh, you've got great history there, your family, your, your, your late father and whatnot in the Miami area, but that's not going to happen. No, 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 no. I, uh, I did go down and visit with them. They have a wonderful situation on there. Former uh, associate athletic director is the athletic director there, Dan Radakovich, former associate of LSU. So uh, he invited me to come down there and speak with him, and I did, and I enjoyed my visit. Uh, but, you know, with each passing day, I've, I've kind of lost my enthusiasm to even uh, pursue it anymore. So I've actually reached out to them and told them to withdraw my name from consideration. Yeah, I'm a Baton Rouge boy now. <laughs> be, be here for life. All right, so LSU's playing for a national championship. Uh, you know a lot of these guys well, right? I mean, your super regional team your last year, Dylan Cruz, Trey Morgan off the top of my head, uh, Gavin Dugas, Kay Beloso, it goes on and on. Well, when you look, I assume their lineup tonight uh, will be what it's been. And with Ty Floyd on the mound, Jacques, uh, nine of the ten players out there for the Tigers, uh, myself and my staff recruited and or coached. And, uh, I think the only two that we recruited that didn't coach were, were uh, Braden Bear and Josh Pearson, but we recruited them to LSU. And outside of Tommy White, the rest of the team, we coached them. So went through the growing pains with them a little bit. Uh, it's been very rewarding for me to see their development and how they've grown into very productive players and grown into men, and I think they're ready to do something special out here. They've already done a lot of special things this year, and I hope they can finish it off. I think Jay's an outstanding coach and a good person, and he's done a really nice job with this team. Obviously, getting Skeens and, and Hurd and Tommy White are three big pieces of, through the transfer portal that have added to a team that was pretty much in place, you know, that he inherited. I think he's, you know, he's done a really super job, and, and uh, my, re my interaction with him has been positive. I told him when he got here two years ago that I was here to help in any way I can. I know Skip felt the same way. It's a rare occasion when a new coach comes in, gets to inherit a pretty good ball club, and the previous coach didn't get fired and didn't leave for a better job and lives in the same city. And then you also have the greatest coach in history, Skip Bertman, who's also right in the same city. So, you know, I, th I like to think that there's been some times when we could give Jay some some input. I, I never do it unless he asks for it because I don't want to overstep my boundaries and I've purposely, you know, given him the space to, to manage these players that that we had recruited and coached because I didn't want them to get confused. You know, Jay's the boss now and everybody listened to him, so I've kind of stayed out of their way unless Jay asked me to come around. I, I've kept him out in the sun. You can't see on camera, but there is a big line of LSU fans right here that have gathered not to see me, but to see this man. Thanks for the time. Jacques, great to be with you as always, buddy. All right, Go there Tigers. he is, Coach Maneri here in Omaha. And they've already showed him several times.